What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we're talking about, <laughs> you know. So one of the questions I get a lot is, hey Lane, <laughs> believe it or not, does masturbation kill your gains? First off, I just want to say that if masturbation killed gains, there'd be a lot of no gains having people out there. That's just being real. We can look at some of the studies that are out there and make some predictions. There are to date zero studies looking at masturbation and how it affects resistance training. I know because I looked for a friend. So what is out there is looking at the effects of masturbation on the hormonal response to ejaculating basically. I don't think they've assessed it in females. So in males, what they have shown is there's one study that showed that your sex hormones, including testosterone, kind of actually go up after you masturbate, but it's really small amount. Uh, and then they come back down to baseline. I want to be clear, not a meaningful amount. Don't go popping out a nut right before you're going to go for a max squat thinking it's going to make you stronger. It's not. It probably won't kill your gains, but it's not gonna make you stronger. So don't be like pulling off in the gym bathroom to peel one off or God forbid, you're just sitting in the locker room like one of them old guys with your, your stuff all hanging out. Pro tips, don't do that. It doesn't look like it drops testosterone. Now there was one study where they had men come in and bust one out and then go three weeks abstinence. So no masturbation, no sexual intercourse, and then do it again. And they did find that at the end of the three weeks, their testosterone was slightly elevated. Before you all, you guys out there, sign up for No Nut November. First off, let's, there's gonna be a lot of really angry males out there if they do that. So I'm just gonna, I don't know about you all, but you can get a little angry. So just, just be careful and don't murder nobody. Second off, Again, not a meaningfully large increase in testosterone. As we covered in a previous video, short, small changes in testosterone do not produce differences in hypertrophy. Yes, if you are clinically low testosterone and you take testosterone to get back in the normal range, you will have more hypertrophy. If you are in the normal range and you take exogenous steroids to get you out of the normal range and even higher, yes, you will have more hypertrophy. But there is zero evidence in the literature, in fact, there's quite a bit to the opposite, showing that small 10 to 20% increases in testosterone don't do anything. There's just no evidence that they actually produce meaningful differences in exercise performance or hypertrophy. So what I would say is don't worry about it. There is a study that looked at uh, resistance training performance after sexual intercourse. They had men have sexual intercourse the night before they were going to resistance train. No, they did not bring them into lab to study them. That's not how this stuff works, but they, they, they took their word for it. So they looked at, was their performance affected when they had sex the night before versus not having it the night before? What they showed was there was really no differences in performance. Nothing was different between the two groups. So that whole women make the knees weak, whole sort of thing. If any of you guys ever did that sort of stuff, I hate to tell you, you missed out on getting some for no more gains than you were gonna get anyway. Insert crying emoji. I am not a sex researcher, but to me, there really should be no difference in the physiological response between masturbation and sexual intercourse. I suppose the neurochemicals that are produced between each could be different. Uh, we don't know, we don't have the studies. But thus far, there's no data indicating that sex or masturbation is going to impede your gains. We do have quite a bit of evidence to suggest in terms of correlation data that people who are sexually active tend to have like higher levels of testosterone. I am not saying that having more sex increases your testosterone. I don't think there's any evidence of that. But it's hard to suggest that having more sex would decrease your testosterone. I don't think that would make any sense from an evolutionary perspective. There's no evidence that masturbation or sexual activity can harm your gains. Therefore, before you participate in No Nut November, what I would recommend is thinking about why you're doing it. If you're doing it because you just wanna prove that you can go a month without doing that, cool, good for you. But if you're doing it for more gains, you're not gonna get more gains. Unless it just means that 
you masturbate so much and it takes up so much of your time that you actually can't get to the gym or prep meals, then maybe it'll inhibit your gains. What I will leave you with is one thing that can inhibit your gains is STDs. So please be sure to practice safe sex if you are participating with a willing partner. All right, guys, that's it. And I'm pretty sure it's the most awkward video I've ever done. Can't wait to see the comments on this one. Catch you guys next week.